Hey everybody, welcome to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and here on my YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to show you two new hidden features in Studio One version 4.5, the new release that is not being widely talked about on YouTube. I kind of stumbled across these as I've been playing with Studio One version 4.5 over the last couple of days and I thought I would share it with you. I find these features pretty useful and helpful. If you have not seen my 10 favorite features in Studio One version 4.5, the video I did a couple of days ago, the link will be in the description box. Go check that out out. And if you like what you see in this video, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. So now let's just jump in here into Studio One. Quick, I want to show you these two features. I think these are pretty cool. I don't see these being talked about on YouTube so much. Um, maybe they are, but I just haven't seen it. So the first one I want to show you, which is kind of a convenience uh, tip here, kind of a feature, is in the I.O. screen. And if we go to, um, let's see, Studio One and we go to Preferences, and we go to our inputs, uh, audio setup, song setup, and go to our I.O. Now you have the ability, once you have all your inputs created, you can reorder and rearrange these inputs. So in other words, you can see we have inputs one through 10 here. Let's say they were labeled kick snare, tom one, tom two overheads, room mic, so on and so forth. And you just wanted to rearrange the order of the inputs. You can just simply left click and you can drag it. And as you can see, I'm starting to uh, drag uh, the inputs uh, into a different configuration. You couldn't do that in the last version. Again, there's been a couple of times that I remember where I wish this feature was here, where I, where I wanted to uh, reorganize the inputs in a specific way. So that's a cool little feature. Again, not something you use every day, but I thought you guys might find that interesting if you didn't know about that. So again, being able to just left click and rearrange the inputs very, very cool. And I'm assuming you could do the same thing with the outputs. Uh, if you were to add a stereo output here, if I wanted to rearrange those, I would imagine that you could, or maybe you can't on the outputs. Let's see. We'll add another stereo output. Oh no, you can't on the outputs. That's interesting. Let me just apply this first and let me see if it allows you to do it then. No, you can't on the outputs. Oh yes, you can. Okay, I'm sorry. You just got to kind of left click and kind of drag there. So you can on the inputs and you can on the outputs. So that is a, um, a feature for you that you can check out. Uh, the next feature I want to show you is something that I think is very cool. Um, and this has to do with the Fat Channel plugin. So if we were to uh, open up the Fat Channel, I think I have an instance of this somewhere on here. Let me take a look. And if not, I'll just go grab it. Let me go over to my uh, browser here and let's grab the Fat Channel and let's throw this on one of these tracks here. Something I find very cool and will be very useful is when using the Fat Channel plugins, compressors and EQs, um, and let me just show you, you now have the ability, let's just pick a, we'll just pick a, pick a, any uh, compressor here and let's just change the settings to this here. Okay, and now let's say we listen to our track with the tube comp um, and now we want to audition that against another compressor with similar settings or even different settings, the Brick Comp. And if I come over to the Brick Comp and maybe, uh, just uh, change some of the settings here. Now when I go back to the tube to AB it, the settings stay the same. So what used to happen in version prior to 4.5 is you would make these adjustments on your compressor, go to another compressor, listen, then come back and it would go back to its default settings. So now the settings stay the same. And this is really, really cool if you wanna be able to dial in a couple of different compressors and then you wanna kinda of compare what does the track sound like with say this compressor versus this compressor and you don't have to worry about the settings going uh, back to its default. That is pretty cool. I like that, I'll use that quite a bit. Same thing with the EQ. You can take your EQ and you can just make some uh, EQ changes here. And then we can go to a different EQ and let's say we want to go over to the uh, anything, to the Alpine EQ. We want to make some changes here and we want to listen to our track that way. And now if we go back to the standard EQ, you can see our settings retain themselves. So that is very, very cool. Very nice, easy way to be able to audition two different compressors, two different EQs on the same source and hear the tonal differences, which I think is really cool. So those are two kind of hidden features that um, I stumbled upon. I don't know if anyone else is talking about it, but I wanted to share that with you. As I'm playing with version 4.5, if I come across more of these where I find they're hel uh, helpful tips or new features or something that uh, I stumble across that I didn't know about and I feel like you guys would find some value in it, I will be sure to uh, shoot another video and share that with you. So I hope you like what you saw in this video. Again, hit that subscribe 
subscribe button. Also go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com, get your five free mixing training courses. It's my gift to you just for joining and checking out homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And also if you wanna get better at the craft of mixing where we learn how to mix all different styles of music inside of Studio One, um, all different genres, perfect for beginners and intermediates, go check out what I have going on at mixingmadeeasy.net. There's a 30 day free trial for a limited time only, no risk to you. Check it out. And until the next video, I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com and I will see you all very soon. Take care, guys.